demonstrate the double crochet, <coughs> the single crochet, and the fan stitch in this video in slow-mo with my hands under the camera for a change. Here I'm counting to make I'm sure I've got seven double crochet for that particular fan. Now, I'm going to anchor that chain five to the fan below in the fourth double crochet stitch and that is a single crochet we'll go over it again in a minute double crochet yarn over put through the work yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over insert through the work yarn over pull up a loop yarn over Pull through two, yarn over, pull through the final two. That's double crochet. Yarn over, pull up through the work. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the work. In this case, it's a V stitch from the prior row. Then yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the V stitch. I'm going to show you how to make one of those two in this video. counting. Make sure I've got seven. And I don't believe I do. I've got one more to go. Yarn over. Insert into the work. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. The single crochet goes in the fourth double crochet. And you insert in the work. Pull through up a loop. And yarn over. Pull through both loops on the hook. That's your single crochet. got this camera positioned so that I'm looking down into my own lap. Alright. There's the V-stitch. And what that consists of is a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet all in the same stitch. In that V stitch, in order to get the fan, we're going to have seven double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the V stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over. Pull through the first two on the hook, first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two, double crochet. Then the next fan, I'm going to show you something else. I want to show you the how I keep the work, the stitches close to. Uh, the work because if you don't it gets really sloppy yarn over pull, pull through two pull through two yarn over insert into the v-stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two pull through two and you do that seven times for each fan Finally got my hands under the cameras, guys. One more. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Just one more. And then we're going to single crochet to the fourth double crochet from the previous round. Of shells. So I find it easier to count from the left. Two, three, there's the fourth, fourth one right there. Insert into the work, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on a hook. I think, let me, you all let me know in the comments if you find this easier to deal with looking at it in slow mo. I know you're going to find it easier to deal with since you can actually see what my hands are doing. Yarn over, 
insert into the beast test, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the final two. And sometimes that will <laughs> split on you and you get a little difficult, but it's okay. Take your time. Yarn over, insert into the V-stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And do this seven times for every fan. Some fans have only three uh, stitches in it. And, and I, noted, I said stitches. It could be anything from a single crochet, half, double, double, uh, treble, double, treble. It could be anything in a fan stitch. The fan stitch is a stitch pattern, not a stitch on its own. It's a stitch pattern. It's created by using stitches of the basics, out of the basics. <clears throat> and you can actually create a fan using more than one stitch. You can create a fan using single crochet, then half double, then double, then a triple, maybe even with a pico, and then go back down the other side. Double, half double, single. It creates a different kind of a fan, but it's still a fan. A fan properly identified or defined would be several stitches all into the same stitch or stitch set, like as in a V stitch, um, to create the fan look. There are only a set number of st actual stitches in crochet. There are stitch patterns created from those stitches that are infinite. Okay. I do like the slow-mo myself because it just makes it easier, I think, for you all to see the actual... Um, stitches being made three four five I need two more yarn over insert into the v-stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two on the hook yarn over pull through the last two And what happens is when you're when you're anchoring, like I'm gonna do right here, you're actually opening that fan up so it actually looks like a fan. And you're stabilizing it at the same time. Alright, so see how close I'm keeping it to the work? Right there. I do that because if you don't, you'll have too much of a gap between the work that you're, the, the body of the work that you're doing and the stitch that you're making currently. Too much of a gap makes it, uh, it fills it full of holes, it makes it look really sloppy and it does get kind of floppy and it's just, it's just terrible. If you all like this, please let me know because if you like this method of doing it, I'm going to do all my stitch tutorials this way. Slow-mo at this angle. You tell me if you like any, what, if you don't like something, detail that in the comments, please. I know what I said at the beginning of my YouTube journey was that I'm not going to read comments. Well, sometimes you got to. I need your feedback on this. 
So tell me in your comments what you think about this method of a stitch tutorial in slow motion. Um, I'm going to fix the lighting, so let's not even go into lighting. But in slow motion with both my hands under here and talking to you about it in regular speed so that you all can understand what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out the best way to teach you. Okay. See, look right there. You can see how close I keep it to the work. You don't want much of a gap there. At, at some point, I think I actually show you how it looks if you get sloppy and too loose with it. I think I'll fast forward from here to a, a different place. Or, or I'll just edit it out and, and we'll just skip forward to a different place I can show you a little bit better. Y'all hang loose a minute. Here I've worked myself into the corner. You can see that's a chain three right there. You get all the corner always, always, always in this blanket pattern gets two V stitches and a chain three space between them. You will always, always, always have seven double crochet in each of the two V stitches and always will have one single crochet in the chain three space. And when it gets done, I think it looks a little bit like an owl face. You know, the bird of prey, owls. And I don't know if I even show it to you here, but if I do, it's it's an interesting look. We're at, because we're at a corner, we're almost done with this round. Well, because we're at this corner, we're almost done with this round. And I want to show you how to make a V-stitch. A beginning V stitch for this pattern plus the next V stitch and then we'll be done with this tutorial my OCD is sticking out here I can't remember can't decide how many I've actually counted I need seven and I want to be sure I got seven I guess that makes seven because I'm apparently I'm satisfied with it now. Anchor the chain to the band from below in the fourth double crochet stitch. In the top of that stitch, put in a single crochet around that chain. And there's my beginning band. Now, I'll count from the left for seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is right there. That way I make sure and get myself anchored to the correct chain, a uh, correct stitch. I do not use a chain up. And y'all probably heard me say that. Here we go. In uh, the stacked double crochet stitch, the stacked singles rather, all right, now what I'm getting ready to do after I get done struggling with this yarn is to make a beginning V-stitch for this pattern, but it requires that I work behind me in, uh, in the stitch that I just made, that single crochet. So this one will always look a little wonky. It doesn't matter because you're going to fill it up with double crochets when you come back around anyhow. It's just a little more difficult to do. And then chain one. That was a double crochet. Chain one and then go back into that same stitch and create another double crochet. And yes, this will look really strange. 
but it's okay. It doesn't matter in the long run. Nothing matters no how and what if it did. <laughs> okay. Now, I'll spread it out. You can see eventually that this is a V-stitch. It's just weird looking, but it's okay because when you get done, come back around and hook to it, <coughs> it's going to open up. So chain five then. Now you're going to get to see a V-stitch in real time. And this is the way the blanket grows. Every time you make a V-stitch, you're placing it in a single crochet. Well, those increase every round. So increase, insert the hook, yarn over. Insert the hook into that single crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, just like any double crochet. <coughs> Excuse me. Chain one, yarn over, go right back into that same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And that's your V-stitch. You can see it right there. I'll do one more. <clears throat> Maybe. We'll see what this is going to do. Chain one, two, three, four, five. That yarn is a little bit splitty. <clears throat> that may be the fault of my hook, I don't know. Yarn over, insert into the single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Chain one. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. I'll do it a couple more times, and then we're going to call this a, a tutorial. <coughs> okay, this will be the, I hope, the last time that I have to show you the B stitch. I think it's going to be. Yarn over your hook, insert into the single crochet right there. Yarn over and pull up a loop through that single crochet. Yarn over, pull through two on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the final two. That's your double crochet. Then chain one. Yarn over. Right back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And there's your V stitch, right there. Okay guys, that's the it for the tutorial for today.